I thought I'd do a video today uh, about my favorite metal. It's called Niobium. This right here is my treasure. Um, it's basically like six pounds in this little box. Uh, it's cons it's what's known as ferro niobium. I had it tested at a scrapyard. They had a uh, pretty high tech gun that would tell you what a material was. And uh, when I when I brought it there, and I had them look at it because I acquired this through uh, through cleaning out foreclosed homes. I found it in a vault bottle. It's really heavy. I got excited. I thought it might be platinum. Uh, but I did some research, like I got it tested. He told me it's 65% niobium and 35% iron. It is non-magnetic. Um, it piqued my interest. I've always been a researcher. I looked it up. Found out all about niobium. Uh, now, niobium, it's an amazing material. Uh, what it's used for, a variety of things. Now, you have Google. You can go ahead and look it up. But uh, essentially, uh, it's a very high temperature melting metal. It's dense, it's got a lot of unique properties. Uh, number one use though is for alloying with other metals like steel. If you add about 2% of niobium to steel, you come out with a stainless steel, which is up to 40% stronger, has a lot of a lot of positive characteristics that I sought after. So you're going to start seeing them, uh, you start seeing this niobium steel more and more uh, in cars, alternative energy, mostly electric cars and cars are trying to make lighter because the strength of the steel allows it to use less of it. Uh, some other uses, the uh, Gemini spacecraft actually use niobium alloy uh, rocket nozzles because it's high temperature. A lot of nuclear reactors use niobium and even fusion reactors for some of their parts. Very hard to work with. Uh, depends on what type of niobium it is, but niobium melts somewhere around 35 degrees, 3500 degrees Fahrenheit, 2300 degrees Celsius, uh, which is very, very high. Your, a regular gas torch won't melt it, it will glow red. I'm going to do some further experiments with this because ultimately I'd like to um, I'd like to turn it into uh, I'd like to make a wedding ring also I'd like to cast some different uh, fire alarm bullets with it I has some other ideas but getting back to the niobium uh, it also is a, a superconductor uh, when you bring it down to low temperatures and like liquid helium uh, it actually becomes a superconductor you don't know what a superconductor it is, again, I refer you to Google. Um, good thing to research. Uh, superconductors are uh, kind of a future tech, but they already play a role in, in some types of quantum computing and some other things. But uh, get back to niobium again. Uh, some other things it's used for is uh, it's got very high conductivity. And this particular grade of ferro-niobium is used for jewelry. It's been used by for body jewelry because of it. It uh, it doesn't interact with with the human body. Uh, it's similar to gold in that way, where it forms an oxide layer. Uh, well, gold doesn't form an oxide layer, but this does, and it makes it suitable for hypoallergenic jewelry. I do know they use it in body jewelry and barbells and as such. And also Tiffany's uses in high-end jewelry because an interesting quality of niobium, as you can see, there's these different colors. There's the shiny blue, there's reds. Um, you've got a variety of different colors here. And uh, if you use electrolysis or chemicals in, or heat, and you bring this to a certain temperature, I believe it's 60 volts, turns it yellow, and um, 70 volts turns it blue, 80 volts turns it red. I've seen some different experiments using electricity and solvents to change the color. But anyway, Tiffany's Jewelry Company, they make, uh, they make high-end jewelry, and 
they use this as a color, this type of metal in the jewelry. So ultimately, yeah, I'd like to do some other experiments with it as well. I'd like to make a Niobium knife, and uh, I think that would be cool, and some other projects. And so what I do now is I just buy different types of Niobium for investment purposes. But I'll make some future videos once I uh, determine the best way to melt this down. And uh, I'll show that process. I thought I'd uh, like to share my treasure with you because I find it most interesting. You can do your own research. There's a lot more to Niobium than I brought up. Probably do some more videos later on. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.